Happy Tip Tuesday, golfers. All right, golfers, here we go. We've got an alignment stick slid through Jake's belt loops and he's holding another one. And today we're going to teach you about body wind up, separation, coil, using those muscles to create power, right Jake? So let's see what you got, big man. Yeah, so separation just means everybody, if I put this alignment stick on my chest, that my chest and shoulders both turn different amounts and at different rates. So when I start my backswing, I can't turn my chest and shoulders at the same time. That won't create the right load in the backswing. I have to use my chest to turn first. That creates that separation between this line and my hips. And I can then turn into my hip from there, creating a properly sequenced backswing. Okay, hold on, I love that. So we're looking for about 90 degrees and about 45 degrees. That's a 45 degree angle or X. The bigger the difference, the better, which does not mean you're not allowed to turn into that hip. You've got to turn your hips into that back leg, but if we've got some flexibility, we can really create big numbers. We get a lot of power. So yeah, of course, we all have the amount we can do, but it should be as much as you're capable of. So back swing is the arms are swinging, the chest is turning, the lower body's reacting and supporting. Let's see a little bit of stretch, Jake, explain that. So we really talk about separation as you start into the downswing a little bit. Yeah, so as I change direction into my downswing, I actually want my hips to initiate that motion, stretching that a little further in transition. So as I move into the golf ball, my hips lead, that stretch actually gets a little bigger and then I can turn everything through the golf I ball, maintaining that. that separation. I love the stretch and if you look at impact, let's get you chest facing at about the golf ball, the hips are past. We've got about the same amount of separation we started with. That's the goal anyway. If we've got 45 degrees in the backswing, we're trying to get 45 degrees at impact. And it really allows for power and unwind and gets that lower body moving. And it's great thought for people, Jake, to be more powerful and a little bit more flexible. Yeah, it's one of those things that if you have trouble creating a proper wind in the golf swing, grab a couple alignment sticks, get in front of a mirror at your house and work on this concept, basically teaching your body what it feels like to create that proper uh, separation, therefore a proper sequence, learn to transition properly with your body and it'll make it much easier to get to a better impact position when you're actually hitting golf balls too. Love it. Moving around a lot doesn't mean you're going to hit the ball a long way. You need to move the right way. And this little separation work or understanding the concept of kinematic winding and unwinding will really help you play better. Great job. Give it a try, golfers.